In this session, let's do some undo management. Okay, so before we start and do undo management, let's see what are the various table spaces available. Okay, and the data dictionary table which we will use is DBA table spaces, right? So let me select the table space name and its contents and the status from DBA table spaces. Okay, here we are interested in undo table space. You see here the table space name is undo TBS1 and it is a undo table space. It says undo and it is online. Okay, that's good. What's the size of this undo table space? For that, let's query the data dictionary table DBA underscore data underscore files. So let me get the table space name, the file name and the bytes. Let me divide by 1024 and 1024 so that I get it in MB from DBA data files. Okay, if you look at here, undo TBS1, the file name is dis 2 prod one data undo TBS01.dbf and the size is 30 MB. Okay, that's good. Let's see some parameters related to undo. Parameter undo. Okay, there are three parameters undo management auto that means Oracle database will automatically manage the undo undo retention is 900 900 is the number of seconds the undo data is retained this is the minimum number of seconds for which the undo data is retained okay and obviously here it is saying the undo table space is undo TBS 1 Okay, we got a lot of information. We know what the undo table space name is, how many data files are there in the undo table space and what's the size and what are the various parameters. Here, the only thing which I am thinking is there is only one data file within this table space. If there is only one data file, lot of times the contention can happen. Remember, if multiple sessions are trying to write undo and there is only one file, then the contention can happen. So it's always better to create multiple data files and assign it to undo table space. Okay, so let's do that. Let's add a couple of data files to the undo table space. So adding a data file is easy, right? It is alter table space and our table space name is undo tbs1. So add data file and then we are adding in disk2 prod1 data folder and let's call it as undo tbs1b dot dbf okay and we want the size to be 10 m and we want the auto extend option on and then let's learn one more parameter which is next 1 m that means when you extend this table space or this data file extend it by 1 megabyte and then let's learn one more option which is max size here if you want you can mention the size or you can mention unlimited keyword saying that there is no limit on this table space okay and let's run it table space is altered let's run this SQL statement and see if the data file is added or not okay I copied that pasted and you see okay uh, let me order by table space name okay order by table space name and you see here we have two data files for undo table space one one is 10 MB and the other one is 30 MB so totally it is 40 
MB. Like this, it is always better to add multiple data files to the undo table space so that the contention does not occur. Okay, let's learn how to create a undo table space. And we know even though we have multiple undo table space in the Oracle database, only one undo table space can be active. So let's learn about that. So to create a new undo table space, it is create undo table space and the name. So undo TBS2, that is the name of the undo table space and data file. So I want it to be this two prod one data and I want to call it as undo tbs2 underscore 01 dot dbf and I want to start with size 5 MB and I want to make sure it is reused so I can mention the keyword reuse and I want to mention the auto extend on option okay and the undo table space is created so let's check the DBA table space data dictionary table okay table space name contents status from DBA table space okay misspelled paste DBA table spaces okay you see here we have two table spaces right it is undo tbs1 and undo tbs2 so we have two of them let's see which one is the active so show parameter undo okay so the undo table space which is active is undo tbs1 okay what if we want to make undo tbs2 as the active undo table space it is easy it is alter system set undo table space equal to undo tbs2 the system is altered and now let's check the parameter again and now you see the undo table space is set to undo tbs2 table space cool right and let me introduce you one more data dictionary table okay let me select the segment name the owner the table space name the status from DBA rollback sex which is segments and you see all the segments related to undo TBS2 table space are online and you see here all the segments related to undo TBS1 are offline that means only one undo table space can be online at a given time okay do you want to switch over to undo tbs1 and check it out okay let's do that quickly it is alter system set undo table space equal to undo tbs1 and let's check the parameter So now it is undo TBS1 and now let me run this select statement. And now you see all the segments in undo TBS1 table space are online and all the segments in undo TBS2 table space are offline. Cool right? Like this you can switch your undo table space from one another but at a given time only one undo table space can be online remember this point and you should be good